Hi, I'm Ron Klein. One of the most interesting issues we continually get calls about is embezzlement issues, especially embezzlement issues where the CPA has been rendering what I call low-end services, sometimes as low as just tax returns. Uh, the classic example is the small business uh, who uh, CPA may be doing a tax return and maybe every once in a while a compilation and lo and behold it turns out that the bookkeeper slash office manager uh, wound up embezzling twenty thousand a year for the last six or seven years and uh, very often when the CPA calls the first question is you know should I help the client figure out how much money they lost et cetera et cetera et cetera because there's pros and cons to doing that you know if you if you hang around and help the client yeah maybe uh, you retain a little level of control. You may even retain that client relationship. But you might also uh, be doing the work that is used against you later on when somebody says, hey, this uh, embezzlement is your fault. Mm -hmm. You may ask, well, wait a minute. If I'm just doing tax returns, how could the embezzlement be my fault? So my world is about uh, the back of the bull. CPAs work at the front of the bull dealing with clients and I work on claims. I work at the back of the bull and hopefully we all know what happens at the back of the bull. Well at the back of the bull those low-end services uh, become kind of a noose around your neck especially if you've been rendering those low-end services for a long period of time because one what the way juries think of it is the longer you've been around the more you should know about that business and frankly probably your small business clients think that as well so issues come up like well wait a minute you've been doing their tax return for 12 years so you must have known that the client put all their faith and confidence in the bookkeeper you must have known that that client very often a doctor actually signed blank checks and just handed them to the bookkeeper did you ever advise the client that you shouldn't do those things? Did you ever advise the client about lack of segregation of duties? And didn't you know that the client hadn't done a bank reconciliation for the last eight months? And if you knew that, don't you know that the bank reconciliations not being done is one of the biggest red flags of embezzlement fraud there is? And all these questions come up, but as CPAs, Often we don't think about things like that, when, especially when we're doing those low-end services, those tax returns. So most importantly, if, you, if you're with Cameco, looking at all the tools we can give you about this because uh, it's, it's one of our most common claims. And frankly, the small business embezzlement is one of the most avoidable claims. We give you a ton of tools to educate your clients, your small business clients especially, about embezzlement risk. And that's how you avoid the claim. You avoid the claim through the win-win of avoiding the bad thing happening to your client. Believe me, we have yet to have somebody sued because nobody embezzled from the client. So if you can stop the embezzlement or minimize the chance of the embezzlement occurring, one, you increase your value to your client, and two, you reduce or eliminate the likelihood you're gonna be held responsible. Um, and so we give you the tools to make it easy to do that. Uh, we give you the tools, if you want to, to generate uh, potentially additional services to provide to small business clients, um, and we, hopefully raise your uh, awareness of the importance of bank reconciliations, of the importance of advising clients about bank reconciliation defects. You know, helping somebody once they've been sued, well, that's great, but helping somebody not to get sued to begin with, that's really, really great.